trader growth and development tips. So let's go through a few points that I believe can help you stay on the right path to continue to grow. Because as humans, we never stop learning. We can never, ever be slack on that, all right, guys? We've got to stay at the top of our game, particularly when it comes to trading. So as I just started off, never stop learning, NSL. Remember that, never stop learning. Even as they say, you know, the rule of thumb is it takes 10,000 hours to mastery. Okay, even when you hit that 10,000 hours, particularly with trading, market conditions change. You know, certain events happen and they may change the patterns of what particular instrument you're trading. So you always need to be adapting and learning with what the changes are going on in the market. So as I say, never become slack on that. And then next point, journal. If you are in your, you know, your, your early, your infant stage of trading, guys, it is so critical as part of your, your development as a trader to journal everything down. The trade you're taking, timestamp it, the instrument, you know, uh, buy or sell, whatever the case may be, and your emotion. I'll get onto that in a moment. But the good thing about noting down and journaling all of your trades is at the end of the week, when the markets are closed, over the weekend, feet up, have a cup of tea, analyze your trades. See where you potentially went wrong. And you look, oh, okay, that trade went against me quite heavily. Uh, why is that? Let me go and take a look at the chart. Ah, oh, I see. So fine tune, tweak your strategy. Your strategy will never be perfect. It will never be the holy grail, but where you can make tweaks because of where you've journaled and you keep an eye on, on what you're doing, uh, that's wonderful, 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 and great for your development. And then also, as I said, uh, with the point that I left, emotion. Write down how you feel when you're taking each trade, because if something's gone heavily against you, and on that particular day, you were not feeling great, something was going on personally, you know not to trade like that again. You, were feeling, you weren't feeling great, that trade went heavily against you, or you over-risk, you over-leverage, so essentially, you know not to trade when you're feeling in those, that, that emotion. Back test. As that goes uh, in line with the journaling as well. Guys, with your, your strategy, as I say, you can always fine tune and tweak it. Keep back testing, back testing, back testing on your strategy and just bring up your probability as much as you can. Because as I say, things change, conditions change, patterns change with instruments you're, you are trading. So continue to back test, baby. And then market news. Again, it's always worth keeping an eye on what's happening in the markets because you don't want to harm your enthusiasm for the markets. And when I say that, with market news, certain things can happen and absolutely take you, you know, take you out of surprise, basically, because you haven't uh, been aware of, oh, Trump's going to be uh, meeting with China or, or the Federal Reserve are going to be having their rate decision. Certain things like that, you know, you don't, you don't want to get caught off guard and that can really hamper your trader growth and development because you, you may get, you may lose enthusiasm just because, simple, simple as, you're not being aware of what's going on in the news. And very lastly, this is, you know, really is key patience and perseverance. The amount of people that come onto trading, they find it's difficult, it's not an easy thing. Trading really tests us as humans, a lot of things are out of our nature, okay? So just stick to it, be patient and persevere. You know, as I say, we've, you know, uh, this is a slightly different, um, uh, slightly different example, but look at Jeff, Jeff Bezos, Amazon CEO, patience and perseverance, guys. This guy's doing it from the 80s, built his dream and look at him now and it is a good example um, and, and you've just got to keep keep in mind the long game for training you could be getting yourself to a position where you know you're you're ready to retire you've built up amount of capital because you're patient and you persevered feet up trading your own capital wherever you want to be uh, so keep going man uh, so other than that i hope you've uh, found some benefit from the trader growth and development tips <laughs>